Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Mac here with a fallout for item duplication glitch guide. I'm going to be showing you how you can duplicate any item you want. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do so you don't make any mistakes and exactly what the best ways to use this glitch are. Now, I'm going to be just simply showing you at the beginning here how it works. Number one, you're going to want to drop the item that you want to duplicate. In my case, I'm just going to drop a huge piece of meat so that you guys can physically see the piece of meat easier than maybe some smaller bullets or stim packs or whatever. So drop the item that you want to have on you. Another note is that you will need dog meat with you and you can do this in any area of the map as long as it's in an area that you can see what you want to duplicate. Next up, command dog meat to move away from you. You don't need to move him too far away, but you need to move him far away enough that you have some space in between him and the object. Next up, command dog meat to pick up the item. Now you're gonna need to take the item right as dog meat stops and bends over. There's about a 0.5 second window where he's bending over and his head is tilting where you can take the item, it'll go into your inventory and he'll still pick up the item and then he'll drop it. Basically, if you're too early, you'll take the item off the ground and dog meat won't be able to pick it up. If you're too late, dog meat will pick it up and you won't be able to take it into your inventory. Now you can do this with any item that dog meat can pick up, but again, to repeat, you have to pick it up, timing is everything, right as he stops and starts bending over to pick up the item. If you pick it up, it'll go into your inventory and he'll still drop the item, which makes two of that item. Another note is that you can't do this with stacks. So if you have a stack of ammo, it won't work. For example, I thought I could use it for my cryolator cells. I had 123 in one stack. When you do the uh, duplication method, it only made 124. So you wanna keep that in mind. Obviously, this is useful for Rad X, Stim Packs, Rad Away. It can be also extremely useful for fusion cores and mini nukes, which are very hard to come by and very expensive if you ever do find them. I believe you can duplicate guns themselves and then sell them to store owners right. for barter and take all their bottle caps. Gotcha. It might actually be faster for you to duplicate their uh, duplicate an expensive gun and sell it than it would be to do the ammo glitch where you steal their bottle caps using the vendor glitch. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Now there is actually a way to use this glitch to max out your stats and get 10 out of 10 in all of the special stats. Now it's a little bit more involved and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in another video. So if you click on screen right now or at the end of the video or you look in the YouTube description, you'll find a link to another video where I'll show you how you can use this glitch in order to max out your stats almost immediately within the first hour of the game. This will allow you to use your skill points for perks instead of having to actually level up your individual special stats. It basically eliminates that huge grind at the very beginning of the game and lets you kind of access some of the cooler, more fun things more earlier. And I know some people are a little bit crunched for time. They want to eliminate the grind and just want to experience the most fun parts of the games. I don't really blame them. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in one of my future videos. As always, peace.